What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, bringing you guys another banger. We got ourselves a Series 3 Garchomp and Tyranitar Sand Combo team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Considering tomorrow, Friday the 12th, May 12th, Legends of Zelda Tears of a Kingdom comes out. And I am stoked for that game. I am absolutely stoked. I'm going to be doing a playthrough starting tomorrow. I'm going to be doing guides for you guys. I'm just going to be pumping out contents for that game. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. My playthrough is going to be probably different from most. I feel like Breath of the Wild, or not Breath of the Wild, Tears of a Kingdom, or this new Legend of Zelda series can really be like different for everybody playing it because everybody can do their own thing. It is open world. So again, hope you guys do tune into the brand new playthrough and enjoy it as much as I'm going to be enjoying playing it. But back to the Pokemon content, we got Talonflame in our first slot. Talonflame, really great Pokemon at setting up a Tailwind. And on top of that, it is a great physical attacker. It has Gale Wings and a Covert Cloak as item, Rock and Brave Bird, Tailwind, Taunt, and Quick Guard. Garchomp is in our second slot, and I love me some Garchomp. But the only problem with Garchomp is gonna be Pokemon like Fluttermane. We got Sandbell, the Life Orb as item, and then we're rocking EQ, Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be my boy Deli Deli Bird, the Iron Bundle with Quick Drive and the Boost Energy. You really can't go wrong with this Pokemon, especially when it is built like this. Icy Wind, Freeze Drive, Protect, and Hydro Pump, probably the best moveset, and then on top of that, the Booster Energy makes it outspeed most Pokemon, so it is pretty OP. It really is. It's a really strong Pokemon. We got Fluttermane in our fourth slot, but not just any Fluttermane. We got ourselves Choice Specs Fluttermane, so this Fluttermane's here for some big time damage. There's Protosynthesis, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. Fifth slot is going to be Garchomp's best friend. It is going to be Tyranitar over here. Sandstream for weather control, choice ban as its item, rock and rock slide, low kick, assurance, and terror blast with that flying terror type because that is just the best terror for any Tyranitar. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy Shen Pao. Again, another Pokemon that you cannot go wrong with. It has Swords of Ruin, the Focus Ash as its item, and then a great move set of Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Protect, and Sacred Sword. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Garchomp and Tyranitar Series 3 team. First match is on its way, and of course, the time I use Garchomp, we're going up against an Earth Eater Earthworm team. So I can't really use ground moves. I can't really use my EQ with Garchomp, so we might not even bring it in here in match number one. But Pokemon who are going to be strong for us, probably the Fluttermane, the Deli Bird. We got to watch out for Tinglu, but I really do like that. I'm going to lead the Town Flame. Good old Quick Guard is going to be great up against Dragon Knight and Shen Pao. And then on top of that, we can set up the Tailwind. And then from there, who do I go? I could just lead you. Shen Pao. I do like Shen Pao. And then on top of that, I could go you, Titar, and Garchomp. I'm just trying to figure out ways around this Orthworm, right? Orthworm is a little bit of a problem. We have the Dragon move. Oh, no, we don't have a Dragon move. We have Rock Slide and Iron Head. But I just like this combo. I do like that combo, but still. These two gotta come in here. We'll save Garchomp and Titar for the next match. It's just Earthworm out here. Really big problem. It's just a problem. It's a problem. So I think they bring Tinglu. I think they bring Earthworm. They might even lead it. But I feel like that is just like the best of both worlds right there, right? Earthworm can counter my ground Garchomp. And then Tinglu can counter my special attacker. So this one should be kind of tough. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. But we'll see who they lead. We shall see. Hopefully we get off to a strong start here. We do have the free Tailwind pretty much. With the Cobra Cloak, so you can't even fake me out. And they end up going these two. I'm going to rock out with these guys. So from here, um, do I set up a Tailwind? Kind of want to. Kind of don't want to. Quick Guard's going to do nothing. We could taunt. Um, could taunt the Orthworm if we really want to. Might be my play. Could set up a Tailwind. I say we save it. I mean, we're going to outspeed regardless. I say we taunt you because a lot of times, Orthworms just look to... Uh, Look to just set up like a, a iron defense and start body pressing. So we're just going to ice spinner and dump on you. Was that a crit? Hot start to the video. Hot start to the video. See you later, Ting Lu. See you later. And we're going to end up taunting this earthworm because I do believe it might be going for iron defense or something like that, right? It's a possibility. Just goes for the heavy side. So we're going to keep it attacking. I think now we can set up a Tailwind if we want to. I mean, Sacred Sword can also go into that. But now that Ting Lu's gone, my special attackers can really thrive. So let's see who they end up bringing out. It's going to be Shen Pao. So Shen Pao's going to come out here. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think we just set up a Tailwind. And we might just want to go for like a Sacred Sword into who, though. 
I feel like I can deal with Shen Pao later. I really can. So I'm just going to go into this uh, Earthworm slot. I am going to attack the Earthworm. I am going to hit it with a Sacred Sword, try to get some damage off one of that. And we'll see what they want to do. But Tail is going to be out about just so I can make sure my Shen Pao can outspeed his Shen Pao. And we can go from there. Sacred Sword is going to fly. We're going to do half damage, which is great. That is really good. Of course, your Citrus Berry. So Citrus Berry is going to poke out from them. And this is a time where I wish my Talonflame had Flare Blitz, right? Flare Blitz can really rip. But they go for the Ice Spinner into my Talonflame. Talonflame eats it up, which is nice. And a Body Press comes out there. The Body Press can KO. So Earthworm is here. He came to play. Okay. So from here, now we can go into... We can go into Deli Burn if we want to. We do got Booster Energy. Do have the water moves. I also like you, but I would rather get rid of Orthworm first and foremost, right? I think that's gonna be my play. I think we're gonna try to get rid of Orthworm before anything. So I could end up quick guarding if I want to. Do I want a quick guard though? Do I want a quick guard? Because this thing could just sucker punch me. It could sucker punch me. A little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. I think we just try to get after this. So I'm gonna do that and. I'm gonna stay in my typing. I don't want to. I don't want to rasslize. I think I'll save it for Flutter main. <clears throat> so we're gonna go Hydro Pump into Earthworm slot. We are gonna try to land a Brave Bird and Shen Pao, but I do think a Sucker Punch might come out here, right? It would be terrifying. We're just hoping it's not in the town frame. Cause I think this Hydro Pump should be able to KO Earthworm. Nice big time special attacking move. And I'm looking to land. He ends up just protecting Shen Pao, which I don't really mind too much. I don't. I don't. As long as this Hydro Pump just lands, it does. Does it KO? I think it should, right? It does not. That hurts the soul. My soul is destroyed. My soul has been destroyed. So we got some speed. Body press gonna fly here, and we're able to eat that. Okay, that's good. That's fine. So I'm gonna shake off the taunt, and from here, I think from here we just quick guard and we go into an icy wind. The reason I want to go into the icy wind is because it should KO and take off Sash. I should KO and take off Sash. So I go for the quick card. I'm not trying to deal with Sucker Punch coming out here. I'm not trying to deal with it. There it is. So good call on our end. The Iron B should be able to go here. Get off a nice little Icy Wind. And take out the Earthworm. It does. And on top of that, we get rid of Focus Sash. So that's pretty good for us. That is pretty good. Plus, we should slow down the Shen Pao. But a Dragonite in the back end could get real ugly, right? It could get real ugly. So who do we want to go after here? It's going to be Fluttermane. Okay, so Fluttermane comes out here. Do I want to Icy Wind a Fluttermane? What do I want to do up against the Fluttermane? I mean, Quick Guard's going to be our best friend, right? Quick Guard is definitely going to be our best friend. But how many turns left in Tailwind? We have one. That makes me want to just go for an Icy Wind here. It really does. So you know what? I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to make sure the first turn priority doesn't come out here. Because I believe... With my girl right here, if I can get speed, I can really rip with a fairy Terra. I do I do believe that. So I'm gonna try to get speed here. I'm gonna quick guard just in case the sucker punch wants to come out here. And we're gonna we're gonna get try to get after this and win this match with Fluttermane. It's a close match here. They end up going for the sucker punch again. All day, baby. All day. Icy Wind now flies. We chip up some nice damage. And we get the speed jump. This one's going to be real close. Real close. Dazzling flies. It's a double kill. It's double kill. I understand that you can sucker punch my flutter main. But now, I think a terror dash and gleam can finish this one off. I really do. I really do feel that. Tailwind's gone. We got speed. No problem. We got fairy terror. Ready to go. We still got it. And <laughs> this one's coming down to it. It is coming down to it. We might have just made the right call there. Because we're going to have Stab on top of this, Terra Boost, and then Choice Specs Boost. Yeah, this is my play all day. Go straight into the game. Straight like that. Straight like that. Come on, let's see if we clutch this one up. Because I, I left it all on the table for Fluttermane. I set myself up for Fluttermane to finish this match. So hopefully, my girl Flutz right here can do it for us. Let's go, Flutz. Come on, man. Come on, Flutz. Give me a... It's too easy. Let me get a... It's too easy, Flutz. Sucker Punch does come out here. Does a lot of damage. Low key. Dazzle Gleam's gonna KO Shen Pao all day. If we can just either KO the Flutter Main or Soak Up Shot, we win. We're gonna lose here. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Not enough damage for us. What are you going for? You're going for a Gleam. Can you eat that? Probably not, right? Don't. Flutter Main, I'm disappointed. 
very disappointed. That hurts. That hurts because I really did think we had that match, but not a bad first match. Our opponent just overpowered us by a little bit. We're going to hop into our second match and look for our first victory. In the second match, we're going up against an absolute meta team. They got Shen Pao and Dragonite, Mousehold and Annihilate, and then they got Amoongus in front of me. This one's going to be tough. I'm looking to pull off a victory here considering we lost that first match, and that one kind of hurt. I thought we should have won that one, but it came down to the wire. But I don't know who they're going to lead, right? Potentially Annihilate and Mousehold, right? It's definitely an option, so I might just go into... Who should I go into? I mean, first turn priority is going to be a little bit of a problem, so Talonflame's not going to be bad. Talonflame is not going to be bad. Also, I feel like the weather combo is going to be really good for us. So, you know, I'm going to lead Garchomp Titar. I really do like Garchomp Titar here. I am also going to bring in... Do I bring in Fluttermane? I think Fluttermane could also be good. Shen Pao's pretty solid with first turn priority on our hands. Uh... I think Shen Pao. Yeah, I like Shen Pao. Shen Pao. I like Shen Pao a lot. So I'm going to go Shen Pao. And then I think we got to bring in one of the big time special attackers, whether it be Delibird or Fluttermane. Let's see Fluttermane's speed real quick. How fast are you? 205. You are you're a fast one. You're a fast one. What's your nature? Impish. So you are boosting speed. I do like that. Impish nature. So we got to fully max out speed Fluttermane. Or we go in with a guarantee out speed with the Delibird. But the problem here is. You can get hit by E-Speed and you can't. So with that being said, I kind of like you. Plus, we have a really good uh, move pool with the Shadow Ball, the Dazzle Gleam, the Moon Blast, and the Thunderbolt. That is also choice spec. So I'm going to like that Pokemon a lot. I am. So I'm going to go into Fluttermane. We got to grab ourselves a win here. I win one. Oh, dude, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, one? Ah! Just disgusting to say. We got we to gotta get one in one here. We got to get one in one So Shen Pao and Dragonite are going to come out here. Um... I do have Sand Bell. I'm thinking of just switching into potentially like flying type here. Actually, well, I could just stay my typing. Actually, Sacred Sword can KO me. So from here, I'm thinking of just protecting you and popping a lovely rock slide after triacelization. I could stay and go for EQ, but we'll see what he wants to do. Because he could just ice spinner into my guard chomp slot, which would be a problem. It would be a problem. And even if I terrestrialize going into ground type, it's not gonna do me any justice. So we might just wanna potentially swap out and just see how much damage we can do with this rock slide because if they stay in here and rock slide lands chances are we take out champ out because we're going to be bringing it down to sash we're choice bandit should be able to do some nice damage so i'm going to terrestrialize my boy he's going to not terrestrialize i don't think because Titar shouldn't come out here first yeah so i don't think they're terrestrialized they might just end up protecting there's a possibility here so we go straight into flying just in case that they want to go for a sacred sword and try to kill my Titar. They have, have options. And really, Titar's gonna Terrasize first, meaning it outspeeds. The Dragonite's probably gonna get Terra. It is gonna be Dragonite. It's normal. Into flying. Even better. Even better. So he ends up going flying. Thinking of going for like, EQs. And he might just protect Shen Pao here, I feel like. No, he does not. We protect our Garchomp. So let's see what he ends up doing here. Ice Circle Crash can come out here into the Chomp. So that's really good for us. Can he double down into the Chomp for me? We end up just outspeed and Rock Slide's gonna be big. So we're gonna get rid of Shen Pao. Buffett's gonna take it out. Maybe we get a flinch on the Dragonite as well. That could be big. That could be big. That could be big. That is big. That is big. That is huge. That is huge. That is enormous. Big time first turn for Jeans. Big time flinch. Big time calls with the protects. So now we have Garchomp ready to just send EQs. Rock Slide should kill the Dragonite again. And I don't think anyone's really gonna take this eq lately right this eq can hit hard it's gonna be fluttermate so yeah we are popping eq actually we might just swap i don't really want to swap into shen pao i could swap into my own fluttermate speed is gonna be heightened we might just want to swap you actually we'll go iron head rock slide we'll see what they want to do we're gonna be full blown attack because chances are they can miss this attack we have sand veil on our guard champ giving us a nice little evasiveness boost i think it's like a 10 percent evasiveness boost and every here and there you get the dodge every here and there you get the dodge and it always comes up clutch it always comes up clutch so let's see what they want to do i was going to swap into my own flutter main but i just feel like this is the play just head on full steam go attack and he ends up withdrawing the dragonite and he's going to go into who's going to take this rock so i'm not too worried about the dragonite too much it's gonna be a Moongus. Okay. I feel you. And you're gonna end up setting up a substitute. So EQ should come out here first, which is big. Take off the substitute. Actually, it's Iron Head. 
That's big. It takes off some suits, so Rock Slide's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. So we want to get out of Moogus, probably for Rage Powder purposes, but we are doubling down with double moves, which is really good. So Rock Slide's gonna fly here. Bop, 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 and get rid of Flutter Me. Yo, that's game. That's, go that's just game. It's over. It's over. They, they, they don't have a chance to win this one. So we come out strong here in match number two. We lose one, we come out strong in the next match, and we play with some aggression. I was all about just attacking here. I wasn't going to swap or anything. It was T-Tar, Garchomp, Show, and I was just pushing forward with attacking. So he throws back out Dragonite. This one's probably going to become canceled, but I'm just going to EQ here just so I can get rid of the uh, Amoongus. And they, again, they just cancel out. So one and one, let's go grab ourselves a winning record in that third and final match. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. We're sitting at one and one, strong last match from the combo, Garchomp and Titar. But like I said, it's time to grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Ting Lu team with Bax Caliber, Fluttermane, Arcanine, Azumarill, and Amuga. So it seems pretty strong, actually. Bax, I've been seeing a lot of Bax Caliber and Ting Lu kind of going up with each other. But how should I play this one? I feel like the weather combo it's pretty powerful. They might lead Intimidate, which Intimidate, mm, Intimidate could do me wrong. So I kind of want to play off of that. I kind of do want to play off of that. So I might just go into Town Flame, try to get some speed. I mean, speed's already our friend. But going into, let's just go into our special attacker. Screw it, right? Special attacker, Shen Pao, and maybe just bring Garchomp on its own. Mm, do I want Garchomp on my own? Or would I rather have like a Choice Band T-Tar? I think Choice Band T-Tar could be good, but Azumarill's there. I feel like they have a lot of different counters. I feel like T-Tar's going to be a little bit better. They got Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur with Ice Shark can just one-tap my Garchomp all day. So we're just going to bring T-Tar here in the back end. Choice Bandicam. Choice Band and Choice Spec Pokemon. That should be a good match. It should be a good match. But again, Ting... Mm, I forgot about I didn't really forget about him, but Ting lose a little bit of a problem, right? always a problem but we do have a water and ice type pokemon on top of a fairy pokemon so that could be some big damage as long as they don't decide to terrestrialize because poison terra on a tinglu is it's amazing it's amazing especially when i have iron bundle and fluttermane so they go azumarill arcanine we make the right call we could end up seeing a hard swap into the tinglu it's a possibility i think arcanine might even terrestrialize here it's definitely a possibility but i think i just freeze dry into azumarill and we kind of go from there, right? Freeze dry, zoom rail, and just gleam across the board. Do I Terra or do I stick with a gleam? And freeze dry is definitely in play. Do I Terra? Or I could choice into a Thunderbolt. Eh, not really my cup of tea. I think I'm just going to Moonblast. I wonder what Arcanine's doing here. I think I'm just going to gleam. I'm just going to choice to do a clean. It's just probably the best move. Double hitting move, especially comes up clutch. I'd rather have it. If it ends up with your own Arcanine, definitely Ting Lu. This is exactly why I went into the clean. Had to finish off some things. So Ting Lu is going to come out here. Let's zoom out. You're going to Terrasize or are you just going to protect? Let's see what you're going to do. Let's see what you're doing, Azu. You do not. You have to just stay you and freeze dry half health. So we have health here. We're going to end up Gleeman. Gleeman's going to KO and we get off some big time damage on the Ting Lu. So from here. I can just straight up Hydra Pump that if I want to. We know they have Arcanine in the back end. Which means, eh, we got physical attackers. We kind of need to bait that thing out here, right? We need that Pokemon to come out here. And there it is. So I think Arcanine's going to protect. I really do. Or not even protect. I really feel like he's going to, like, Terrasalize in the grass. I can really see a Terra Grass coming out here. But I feel like just doubling down into a Ting Lu is probably our play. I'd rather go for the freeze dry instead of the hydro pump, considering the damage is just gonna be bet or we're not the damage. The accuracy is just higher, so that's gonna be my play. I think we see a terror or a protect from Arcanine. I really do, because you're not gonna swap Arcanine just to bring him back out, right? That's really weird. You're only gonna bring him back out there unless you have a plan, and your plan probably is to terrestrialize that or just protect it. Cause right, you're you're not gonna swap a Pokemon just to bring it back out. It's just not a thing. It's just not a thing, especially in Pokemon. They have a plan up their sleeve to probably terrestrialize or protect. That's just my guess. I'm not saying it's 100%, but my guesses are pretty good sometimes. Pretty, pretty good sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the call. Arcanine? Right? Am I, am I right? Going into Grass Tower? I was going to freeze dry into it just in case. But no, you throw me a curveball. And I wish I would have Hydro Pump now. But now I'll Hydro Pump next turn. Okay. I feel you. Just protect Arcanine, please. You do. Okay. So, my guess was so somewhat right. I said, like, protect or terrestrialize. 
Free Stride is not going to really do much. That's like 5 damage. That's ugly. And it doesn't even come out here. So, what are you going for here? So I'm Hydro Pumping you next turn. I'm definitely Hydro Pumping this team. I want to go on. You go for Heavy Sun. So, that's going to KO me. We're gone. So, that KOs me. And from here, since Intimidate's already on the field, I can now bring out a Physical Attacker. Which a Physical Attacker could be good. I could just bring out you. I really like you. Should we span Rock Slide? Ooh, baby. Yeah, I mean, you're the guy. You gotta be the guy. I think we just... I think we just hard swap into... Into Shen Pao. That's definitely my best bet. Oh my god. Yeah, hard swap into Shen Pao. Have the defense drop on the field. Drop a Rock Slide. Stab. Super effective. And choice ban. Plus the defense is dropped. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> That's too easy. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. It can't tear. We, we should outspeed. At least we outspeed the Tingling. Probably not the Arcanine. But we'll see. Let's go for a will o -Wisp And you miss. Mwah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rock Slide. Bye-bye, Pokemon. Get them all out of here. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Wise words from my boy, LeBron James. If you guys haven't seen that video, look it up. Because I'm going to be saying that's too easy for a long time. I've been saying it for so long now. Hopefully you guys say it whenever you KO some Pokemon. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. <laughs> I just love that. I love it. Me and all my friends say it too. Whenever we're just like playing Rocket League or like Ballerman or like COD. Something like that. It's just so funny. But he goes into Baxcalibur. We're going to end up low kicking it. Or not low kicking it. Rock sliding and going into a Sacred Sword. But our opponent probably just cancels, right? Battles canceled. 2-1. Got you guys that winning record. By far, the MVP for today's video is going to be Garchomp and Tyranitar, and they absolutely lit it up in match number two and match number three. We didn't bring it in match number one, and that might be the reason why we lost, because that is the only match we lost. Go 2-1 for today's video, and grab you guys yet another winning record for the channel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my content goes live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.